Hi everyone and welcome to SWPL My Story Short. Uh, today we are joined by Livingston Jewel, Tasha Fru and Brogan Anderson. How are you doing, ladies? I'm all yeah, good. Thanks. Thank you. How are you? Thanks for thanks for joining us here. So uh, we just want to tell a little bit about what's been going on at Livingston. It's been quite a quite a transformation at the club over the, the last couple of seasons. Uh, last year, uh, winning the league and getting promoted to SWPL two, uh, a massive, a massive ask for you. But that's that's some achievement and a, a fantastic season. I'll let Tash go first. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it, it's good. I feel like we've still got like there's a still a good morale about the team now. Um, we we essentially our goal last season was to to win the league. We obviously won't promote, it, but to win it and obviously we achieved that and even coming into pre-season we've still been on a bit of a high for last year um, and coming into this league like we never underestimated that some of the girls in the team have played this level before um, and we know it's a big jump and we know what's required is but it's only two games in but it's been it's been good there's obviously been big changes in and around the team as well which has been exciting um yeah, it's it's been pretty good so far. I like Tash said it's been like a a massive jump for the championship. Like last year was amazing winning the league. Um I only joined the team in October um from Motherwell, but I feel like even since I've came in I felt so welcome in the team and like um just the past couple of weeks the intensity of training, like the morale with the girls. I mean we have got a big squad but we realise that it's going to be a hard, hard league to be in. So it's good to have the numbers um there. And obviously the first two weeks we we had a defeat in the first game, but we've bounced back this week and got a win. So yeah, it's really exciting. Yeah, I was just going to I was just going to touch on that. So you you had Kilmarnock in the opening day, um, and it was a fairly heavy heavy defeat, and that was maybe. Uh, an eye opener for for some of the players as to the standard that that's going to be required. Uh, but then you came bouncing back uh, at the weekend there playing Glasgow women. Uh, just came down from SWPL one. You just came up from the championship and you've got your your club's first win at that level. So is that something for you now to to build on? Um, I uh, there was a buzz obviously after the game on Sunday. Um, it's our first ever three points in SWPL two, so it's exciting. Um. And we were all like just gunning for it on Sunday. We obviously played Glasgow in the in a pre season friendly, and it was quite like a a tight game then. Um, but on Sunday, I probably say that, like we dominated most of the possession. Um, we also had a goal that was cut off for offside. Um, but it was an absolute scorcher as well. So it was like it was tough conditions. Everyone I've spoken um, to this week and they've been playing it. Oh, that's all they've been moaning about was how hot it was on Sunday. It it was tough. Um but no, we like we just stuck to the game plan. Obviously we were one 0 down. We didn't we didn't let the heats go down, we just kept pushing. Um a few changes obviously with the conditions as well. It was very hot, so a few changes and a few fresh legs and and we took the three points, and it was tough. It went right to the end, and a last minute winner. But it was a it was a great way to win it. So obviously, there was a buzz in the in the team after the game. Yeah, I think like coming back for like Kilmarnock last week, obviously getting beat four one. It was it was a, a experience for their first game like of the season in the new league. But I feel like like the group as a whole done really well, and on Sunday against Glasgow girls like. To, to win it in the the last minutes of the game was great and like for the subs to come on and make a difference like it's just great for like the whole whole squad to be involved I'm sure your uh, your your gaffer would have preferred a comfortable 5-0 win <laughs> but as players there's nothing better than than a last minute winner to get you over the line oh you can't top it aye <laughs> good way to win it so uh, as we've discussed there's been uh, quite a quite a big overhaul um, at Livingston. I know the management team personnel uh, on the field. These have brought in some experienced players that, as you say, have played at this level and and higher. 
um, and that's hopefully going to stand you in good stead for the season. So what is the ambition? Is it for this year to consolidate or is it to keep pushing on and go for that promotion again? You go and poke him. I can go, yeah. Um I think like like um we've said most Sundays is kind of concentrate on the, the next game ahead and not get ahead ourselves and try and get points where we can and and see where we are halfway through the season. Um we have kind of discussed it, but I think Mike wants us to concentrate on each game as it comes because the the league in SWPL too, there's just it's just a it's a crazy league to be in. Like teams take points for the teams that are at the bottom to the top. So yeah, I think we're just kind of focusing on one game at a time, um, kind of looking at the opposition every week and seeing where we can try and uh, get points. So much this, I'm just much the same as Brogan. Not much else to add. Obviously, we're just taking each week as it comes. We're just playing it by year, but I suppose our end goal essentially is to to get promoted and to finish top of the league. Um, obviously, it's, it might sound ambitious, but Montrose has just done it back-to-back as well. And I think it would be poor for us to come in and say that we're just wanting to come up here and just settle. Um, mm. We're a good side. like We've made good signings. I think we can definitely challenge in this league. Um, pretty much, yeah, just the same. Just echo what Brogan said. And Mike's obviously... He's trying to keep us sort of grounded as well and just focusing on the next game. Um, so, yeah, we're just aiming high. Oh, that's, it. that's the way you've got to look at it. There's no, there's, as you say, there's no point in going into a, into a league, uh, especially with the squad that you have got, how tight SWPL2 always is yeah. every season. You, you're right, Rogan, the, teams at the, the team at the top will lose to the team at the bottom and it's always mm-hmm. notoriously really, really tight. Um but yeah, there's there's no nothing wrong with with having that ambition and the recruitment that you've that you've had getting that first win under your belt um, should hopefully send you on that way. So yeah. I'd like to thank you for for joining us today, Tasha. Thanks. And Thanks for having us. No problem at all, and thank you everyone for joining us on SWPL. My story short. <laughs>